Have you ever wondered if the robot can induce a human to punish an innocent person with electricity? I am the head of Human Tech Center. In our center, we combine practical activities, knowledge dissemination and research. We have an interdisciplinary team consisting of computer scientists, psychologists and engineers. In Human Tech Center, we are conducting researches about social role robots uh, in our lives. Uh, we have got now uh, providing uh, researchers nationwide with polls what people, what polls think about robots. Because we need to know why they are still feel uh, anxiety because of our interaction. A lot of people are accepting robots when they are like salesmen and it's okay for them. But when we are thinking about roles like policemen, therapeutist, we feel fear and don't want them to be the part of this communication. We also conduct uh, researches about robot therapy, uh, how people can be patient of robot as a therapeutist. Recently we have conducted some interesting experiments. We did a replication of Stanley Milgram's famous experiment on obedience to authority. But in our study the authority was the robot, the particular one. Uh, it turned out that the level of obedience was similar to the condition using a human and reached 90% of participants. In another study, we asked subject to touch our robot. We created experimental condition in which we labeled the parts of the robot with numbers or in the second condition with human anatomical names. The results showed the uh, physiological arousal was significantly higher when the subjects uh, touched body parts uh, considered intimate, but only in the condition with anatomical names. The study proves that the anthropomorphization process of intelligent machines depends on our language. At Human Tech Center, I'm uh, coordinating hackathons that are contests for uh, programmers. Uh, this year's uh, teams will be tasked to uh, create interactive visualizations that aims to humanize data. But that's not only for coders, we also want humanists and designers to be in the teams. We believe that interdisciplinary teams are the future of technology design. Human Tech Center was established four years ago. It is a very inspiring idea and concept. During that time, we have organized many meetings and discussions focused on regulations on artificial intelligence and digital development. We have invited many people as Andrea Renda, one of the key advisors of the European Commission on uh, the artificial intelligence uh, ethical understanding. I think with my experience as a first uh, minister of digitization, this part of Europe in, in our region, that this kind of uh, promotion of digital solutions is very important for all of us, for society, to understand better how important digital revolution is and what we as humans should understand and should make uh, thinking about uh, controlling uh, technology. Because human tech events and human tech center is focused on thinking about uh, balance and equilibrium between digital development and human needs. Welcome to the Human Tech Summit. At our annual summit, we focus on the big things in AI, VR, and robots. Embrace the future because it's closer than you think. 
also why the name Human Tech Center, because we always put human being first. Technology should be in the back, in the background. We invite your cooperation.